Okay guys, it's me Imad from Nelson Darwin Park Tech YouTube channel. So today we are going to learn about how to make or how to create a widget for progress bar within the Python. So how we can do it? First of all, we need to import one library. So how we can import our packages and libraries? You need to write from tkinter import steric so it simply means that steric means that tkinter is our main library and now with the help of this steric sign we are seeing all its methods and functions like if you want to call any of the method lying within tkinter then we can okay after it we need to create an object for our GUI. Obviously, if you want to create one progress bar, then we must have a GUI on which we can insert our progress bar. So we will write master, master is equal to TK. And it will create this thing. TK function will create a GUI for us, okay? So, okay we can also click on terminal as well okay or console sorry console after it we will make our progress bar so we will write a variable that is called as prog p r o g you can write anything instead of this prog it is just considered as the variable now assignment operator and after assignment operator we will write progress progress bar okay sorry progress bar and brackets now this is our progress bar okay and you can see that this is not defined here so we, we also need to import one more library that is called as tkinter.ttk from tkinter .ttk import steric so now you can see that our function is uh, proper now we can create a progress bar with the help of this function okay and th obviously this function will create a progress bar for us but what to insert is its brackets okay what to insert it inside these brackets these are for the parameters that uh, uh, where this progress bar need to be obviously on the GUI which is named as the master here that is master is equal to TK then uh, what sort of orientation we want from the progress bar means it either you want to align it vertically or horizontally so we will give the parameter orient is equal to horizontal horizontal okay so horizontal and what about the length of this so we will go for length is equal to uh, 80 or we can go for 90 okay length is equal to 90 and mode is equal to determinate so we can write mode is equal to determinate okay determinate so we also need to put uh, these quotation marks here okay okay now we will write main loop and we will see that either our progress bar is created or not okay wait like this thing progress bar yeah our GUI is created now okay now we need to write progress dot pick this function will progress dot sorry prog dot pick prog dot pick which is the like uh, which is our uh, what's called as the progress bar variable because whatsoever the function will do with all these parameters after in the last it used to pass all these things to the variable okay so variable contains all these things inside it okay all sort of information the creation of the progress bar each and everything so prog dot pick so it will it will align your uh, it will align on the grid of gui it will dot pick function will do what will align your or will place your progress bar on the GUI so now we will run it out 
now we can see that our progress bar is there as you can see but obviously we have to do some sort of like a working on it uh, to do some coding so that it will work okay like this okay now now what we need to do is to okay now prog dot pick and now we will do one we also need to import time okay import time library why we are supposed to do it because we want to insert some sort of delay within our program so that is why we have import this time library now we will write the variable of the progress bar that is prog prog and we will go for like uh, two square brackets and we will write here value like what value we need to show on our progress bar so it is 20 at this time it is 20 so we will go for like a, after after assigning the 20 value to what's called as the progress bar so we will update our gui okay because it is assigned so we will write root master dot update because master is the uh, variable of our gui okay it, it is representing our gui master dot update underscore idle state okay like this idle tasks okay not state uh, idle tasks sorry idle tasks tas ks okay and time dot sleep to time dot sleep okay two two means that two milliseconds so okay now we will run it out okay you wait now you can see that yes our our progress bar is having value of 20 now our progress bar is having the value of 20 okay now if you want to go for like uh, another value okay we can go for like 30 we can go for like uh, we can go for like 40 okay now we need to run it out okay why it is like uh, okay it is saying like this and okay we are supposed to like big thing must be in the last okay prog dot pick must be in the last okay so okay so wait so it is uh, like time dot sleep two and time dot sleep root dot update master dot update underscore idle tasks and time dot this thing and main loop and this thing okay okay now can we go for one more thing that is like uh, uh, can we insert some sort of big delay like 1000 here maybe it will work for us properly okay and, and we also need to like a uh, control X and we also need to place it here uh, prog dot pick okay so it is taking a lot a lot of time okay okay we can go for one more thing okay okay we can go for one more thing we can uh, declare one push button okay we can go for uh, one push button so we will uh, define where like a uh, function def my func and we can place colon here so so this is our what's called as def my func okay we also need to move all these statements uh, alignment somewhere like this so that they uh, it is called as indentation so so like this okay so before main loop we will declare one button 
one button that must be on master GUI master GUI so also place comma after it and what uh, must be on its text we can write click or start okay start start is the text on the button that what is what is written on the button and what about its function when when our button will be pressed it will call a function and this function must be equal to my func my func okay so after it uh, it is also needs to be picked on what's called as the gui so we will use uh, dot pick and uh, p a d y paid y so that i will create some sort of space between button and the what's called as the progress bar so that is why we have used this thing paid y okay so command my funk and all this so we will go for it okay so now we will run it out okay what happened okay progress dot pay and master is equal to tk and all these things okay we yes 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 we, we have to uh, change the alignment of these things okay because they must not be aligned with the function okay they must be aligned with the top top commands okay okay now we need to click on start and now you can see that our progress bar is working after one second I think it will update its value from 20 to 30 and 30 to 40 okay we, we can go for like uh, okay wait uh, I think it, it is for one second okay uh, yeah it is it, maybe it is for one second so or two seconds so yeah yeah it is it is not for like millisecond okay time dot sleep is having a delay of two seconds not the two milliseconds so you must have to uh, correct it so in this way you can make a progress bar within the python so hopefully you got the concept if, if there is any sort of difficulty you can comment down and i will help you out so thanks for visiting our channel and don't forget to subscribe